Pathophysiology of Stroke. Strokes are classified based on their cause. So there are two main ones that you need to know about. The first one is an ischemic stroke, I-S-C-H-E-M-I-C. The other kind of a stroke, cause of a stroke, is from a hemorrhage. So this would be called the hemorrhagic stroke. And you might as well learn to spell hemorrhagic correctly. Now back to the ischemic stroke. There are actually two causes of ischemic stroke. And one is a thrombotic stroke. And one is an embolic stroke. The thrombotic stroke has two different causes. It can happen when you've got your blood vessel and you have atherosclerosis. You've got plaques building up on the sides of your blood vessels and eventually they get narrower and narrower until they occlude the blood vessel. So that's atherosclerosis. Now another thing can happen, and that's just, we'll call it the plain old, here's your blood vessel, and a clot forms right at the site of the blood vessel and prevents blood from going any further down the blood vessel. So you have your, just your regular clot. It looks the same when you've got an embolic uh, stroke, but the difference is in an embolic stroke, that clot, which finally makes it to the cerebral artery, comes from another place. And often that place is the heart. And so in the heart, there might be plaque breaking off from the endocardium, and it enters the circulation and makes its way to the cerebral artery and becomes an embolus at that point. Now, whether the ischemic stroke is caused by a thrombus or an embolus, the result is the same. You've got decreased or no circulating blood. The neurons are deprived of necessary nourishment in the form of glucose. Now, a hemorrhagic stroke has a little different uh, cause and effect. That is bleeding into the brain tissue itself or into the subarachnoid space or ventricles. And the most common cause of a hemorrhagic stroke is increased blood pressure, hypertension. And with that, you get, this is the hemorrhagic stroke. Uh, it's about 15% of the kind of strokes with the ischemic being a hefty 85% of the strokes that happen. Now you've got fewer percentage of uh, hem hemorrhagic strokes. And you can just see, I'll just draw a quick scheme. Essentially you've got a lapse in the integrity of the blood vessel wall and blood leaks into the surrounding tissues causing pressure and this pressure kills cells. It disrupts the connective pathways and it causes localized pressure injury. Now what's interesting is your, your ischemic strokes that account for 85% of the time are have a lower, when it comes to mortality rate, the uh, ischemic stroke, the mortality rate is lower. More common, but lower mortality rate. When it comes to the hemorrhagic stroke, where we have seen that 15% of the strokes are of this category, the mortality is higher. It is much more difficult to control or stem bleeding in the brain. And 
the one thing that I want to bring up from our talk about CAT scans is that a CAT scan, CT scan, is used to show the difference between an a ischemic stroke or hemorrhagic stroke because the medication that's given is a clot dissolving medication and you wouldn't want to give it in case of a hemorrhagic stroke because all you would do would be to increase the bleeding into the tissues. In the case of the thrombotic stroke it could dissolve that clot. 